Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can remove write protection on a USB drive or a USB flash drive. Now there's two different scenarios that you might encounter with a USB drive. This can happen if let's say you, you created a bootable USB drive and now you can't you can't open the USB drive or you, it's got write protection on it and you're getting write protection error when you try to open or when you try to format it. Uh, in this case, I have it plugged into my host machine, which is a Windows PC, and it's not even showing here on the PC. It's not showing, even though I have it plugged in. Now, I have a USB drive that I'd uh, burnt some image onto it, and now when I try to format or try to open it, I'm getting this error message right here. So, for instance, if I try to open it, it says you need to format the disk. So if I click format the disk, I click start, I click OK, I get the error message right here. I'm also now I'm also logged into an Ubuntu virtual machine. Let's see what happens when I unplug it and plug it back in. So I just plugged it and I, I plugged it back into the host machine and I'm getting this pop-up. Now if I select this option, I won't be able to see it. So for instance, if I say connect to host and I click OK, and I go here, I'm not seeing it. It's not listed. If I select the other option, so this time I'm going to connect to a virtual machine, and it's going to be the Ubuntu, and I click OK. It's showing on my Ubuntu virtual machine. It's right here. So it's I'm even getting an icon. However, it's not showing on my uh, Windows PC. So I need to format this disk and create a new file system on it that hopefully can allow us to open it on a Windows machine. Now let's see what it's listed under. So it's going to be this one right here, SDB1, and this is it here. This is where, this is where it's mounted. Now before I can format it, uh, let's go ahead and unmount it. So it looks like I only have one partition on it. Another command we can try is lsblk to list block devices. And it's also showing that it's got only one partition. Let me clear this. Uh, let me unmount it. Unmount sdb1. And now if I repeat the command, it's no longer showing here because it's no longer mounted. Uh, let's list, uh, let's use the other command as well. And it's showing the disk. It's seeing it, but it's not, it's not mounted. But it's got a partition here, one partition. Now, in order for us to partition it, we'll need to use the fdisk command. So I'll do sudo fdisk, and then the device. So just make sure you're you're getting into the correct device, so you don't uh, partition the wrong uh, disk. So it's SDB, and now I can press enter. I'll put in my password. Now I'm in the fdisk command. You have the option to use, you can use M for help. It will show us the different options available. So th these are the different options. The ones that you're mainly gonna be working with are this one here, D for delete, list, uh, print partition table, change partition type. Okay, now let's do P to list the partitions. We only have one, and it's using FAT16, that's the type uh, file type. This is the file system type, FAT16. Now to delete the partition, we'll use D. And since it's only one partition, it says one partition has been deleted. Let's do P again. Now there's no partition. We can do W to write the changes or to commit the changes. Now the partition table has been altered. Let's use one of the commands we used earlier. Let's OK for list block devices. This time there's no partition inside SDB. Now we'll need to go back into the FDS command to create a new partition. 
and uh, choose a new file system. Now let's do sudo again, fdisk, and the device is sdb. Uh, p again no partitions. Okay, now since we verified we we don't have any partition on it, we can create a new partition. Go to default primary and default one partition one first sector default that sector default and a new partition of type Linux has been created. Let's change the type. Let's use T and let's list the available options. And since fat 16 didn't seem to work. Let's see if uh, NTFS is going to work. We'll go with the 07 and then W for right. And now we can try to open this USB drive on a Windows PC. So let me plug it into the Windows PC here. So I'm going to plug this into my laptop. My laptop is going to be it. So there it is. There's nothing on it. Okay, so it says we need to format the disk. Let's click on format. Let's go with the, the default here, FAT32. And it's going to be a quick format. We'll start the format. And it says the format is completed. We'll click OK, close, and now we have access to our USB drive. We can create a file in here or a folder. So I'm going to right click and say new this text file. This file is OK. And there it is. Now, what would happen if we plug this back into the Ubuntu virtual machine? So I'm going to plug it back into the host machine. Let's see. So this is the icon right here. If I click on it, I'm able to open this USB drive and I can see the test file right here. It should also be listed. So it's right here and it's mounted right here, CD to the media. And the test file that I created. So the text file that I created is right here. So that's it for this video. That's how you can remove write protection by formatting the disk using Linux. And in this case, I'm using Ubuntu. I'm guessing you can use any other distro like uh, Fedora, Linux Mint, or Kali Linux. I hope this has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.